Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. So yeah, like I said, I'm going for all the Scream movies. And our next stop is Scream 2. Ah! Yeah, I start to do that again. You know. Anyway, yes. Scream 2, um... Written by Kevin Williamson and directed by Wes Craven. Uh, starring Nev Campbell, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, our regulars. And Jamie Kennedy. And we also, this time, have on board uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Buffy. And um, Jerry O'Connor, uh, Jade uh, Pinkett Smith, Liv Schreiber. And we also have... Um, yeah, we also have Timothy Ulathon and uh, who plays her now? Billy's mother. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I can't find the actress's name at the moment who played Billy's mother. But it's her from Young Sheldon. Um, so, um, this is the sequel to 1996's Scream, where um, the events of the first movie are that, a movie now, called Stab. And basically, you know, Sydney is, you know, trying to move on from the events of the first movie. And of course, she then gets all brought back to her by, you know, with this movie. And of course, Sydney is now at college, and Randy is as well. And of course, another ghost face is on the loose, and he's out killing and making few phone calls. And we even get a shock kill in there from um, Randy's demise. When you think you're safe in the daylight on campus grounds in public, you're not. Also, we get Gail and Dewey back on board as well, and romance forms between them, and we, you know, you know, try and work out who this ghost face killer is with an annoying journalist woman who then reveals to be Billy Loomis's mother and then of course the killer as well ghost face reveals to be her friend Mickey who uh, was you know on the killing rampage as ghost face so I think I've told you the entire plot now. So what did I like about this one? Well, I liked that they referenced a lot of movie sequels in this and that they were like acknowledging this is a sequel now that they're in. Um, and you know, we even get a lot of references, even a class debate about um, about the um, you know, sequels at one point with, with Randy. We also get Sarah Michelle Gellar in this, who of course is a screen queen as well from and around that time she was doing I Know What You Did Last Summer and uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and at that time she was like just a scream queen and would always get killed until she reversed her roles as Buffy in Buffy um, and you know, we also you know, got to see Jada Pinkett Smith in this only for her to get killed in the openings of this film, just like in the previous movie. And then they also started Stab, the Stab franchise uh, within the franchise. Only it was its own film at the time, a standalone movie, but yeah, this series goes on to be, you know, come a series in the film series. Uh, but yeah, I like that we had some light humour in there again, some light comedy. And also, you know, I was like good when Jamie Kennedy's character Randy was killed. Shouldn't have given your virginity up. Because he did give it up as he reveals in the third movie, in videotape form. Um, but, we, um, yeah, I thought this had good cinematography. Very 90s. 
now, but like I said, these first two screen movies were done in the 90s, and again, they, they redefined the slasher genre, and, uh, you know, with the sequels and that, you know, Kevin Williamson did, Sin did a good job writing this. We even have a cheesy moment where it's like Top Gun, where Cindy's new boyfriend is singing, I think I love you, and that, you know, and at one point says him, is he ghost face, is he not? Uh, but then he turns out to not be. We even get some other small cameos in there from other actors playing the characters in the Stab film reenactment. Um, so yeah, was this as good as the first movie? I would probably say the, the first movie is, is good in this one. This one doesn't fully recapture the magic, but is still a decent solid sequel and is worth the time and worthy of the watch. And I you know, very much enjoy this one. I could watch the first screen movie and the second screen movie back to back, which I have done before, but not now. But I have in the past watched the first two back to back. Um, so yeah, Ghostface again, the voice actors for Ghostface, he does a solid job. And again, we get some wacky moments in there. So screen two. Why am I going to rate this one? You know what? It's a good sequel. I'll give it four and a half stabs out of five. Four and a half stabs out of five for Scream 2. So there you go. There is your review for this one. So have you seen it? You probably have, so feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and to feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. I've been Random Ross and this has been a revolting review on Scream 2. So, until next time, don't have nightmares.